the universe, the reality of God, it's all infinitely complex. Why do I say it's complex? Well, for starters, if we look around at every little thing that we see in this material world, it is infinitely complex. The particles that make it up, the physics by which it exists and operates, our own body and our DNA is incredibly complex. And that just accounts for the here and now, the visible, the tangible, the things right around us, not out in the universe on a grand scale. So why? Why would we ever think that our notions about God and creation and re ultimate reality should be simple. If the, everything we see is complex, but appears to be simple often, then all these, this ultimate reality, these things that really matter, God, would have to be infinitely more complex. And when we look at at models, which are ideas, whether it's a, a myth or a story or a chart that describes creation, the plan of salvation, and our ultimate destiny. If those things can be described in a small speech or charted on one piece of paper, we should know that they are incomplete, that they are very basic, and we should expect it to only be a superficial representation to convey certain ideas about it. Not to describe it in full. Not to describe it to the exclusion of other completely different ways to describe it. So we should not expect that if we make multiple charts, that multiple models even, that describe different aspects of ultimate reality in different ways, each of them is just a vehicle for a particle of truth. Each of them is just a means to approximate certain ideas about ultimate truth. But even if they appear to completely contradict each other, we don't have a big enough, uh, deep enough grasp on everything right now to point out how they contradict each other, or in other words, to know you can have a you can have apparent patterns in something big enough and think that they contradict, but if you were to see the whole thing, you could see that they didn't contradict at all, that the pattern is just much larger and repeats less frequently. <clears throat> so that to me is reasonable enough to change our relationship to all of these mythologies, these models for existence, for creation, for our ultimate destiny, and not to think of them in terms of these descriptions being ultimate truth, right? Such that we would exclude other truth, but rather these being approximations no story in scripture, no formulation of human words will ever come close enough to ultimate truth for us to claim that. It's not intended to. And that's where we've always had a mis misunderstanding about the stories in scripture and the models that we create and that we use to say this is true and that is false. They've never intended to be exhaustive. They've always intended to just express some particle of truth. And if we understand that, we can be more open to receiving more truth. Because honestly, if the truth of all was capable of learning, <laughs> being taught in one sermon, in one, one or even a number of discussions, is it really worth learning? What kind of an ultimate truth is that? No, it's something that will engage us and we'll be on that journey for our entire lives and probably more lives than one.